Now let's get started importing or loading our pictures and videos into Windows Movie Maker. Uh, first, we're going to need to understand which types of files that we can use. Uh, as a general rule, Windows Movie Maker can pretty much use all types of pictures and video files, but if you encounter any issues or you're just curious if your device's files are compatible, here's how to check. Uh, in Windows Movie Maker, we'll go ahead and open it up. In the upper right hand corner, select Help which automatically takes us to the Windows Live Movie Maker help menu. And this will automatically take us to the FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions page. And we'll look under what kind of files can I use in Windows Movie Maker. Now here we can explore various types of video files, photo files, uh, or audio files that we'll be able to use. So to expand those, just click on the title uh, and you'll see here all the types, uh, the names of the formats, and the file extensions. So now what we can do is we can look at our camcorder or digital camera manual and we can determine if our file type is compatible uh, and if we're having any issues definitely contact Windows Movie Maker um, if it says your file is compatible and you're still having issues and they'll be able to take care of that for you. Uh, if your file type isn't compatible with Windows Movie Maker and you still want to use it to make your movies or slideshows, I recommend searching Google for a free file converter program. Uh, you can also use ones that are online so that way you don't even have to download a program. Uh, but make sure to be careful um, that there's some sort of fishy sites out there that will give you some viruses. So make sure you're downloading um, or using a reputable website for converting your files. And now that we know what types of media files we can use, uh, let's go ahead and import your pictures and videos from our devices into the Windows Movie Maker timeline and start making our movie or slideshow. So to kick off our project here, we're going to load or import our pictures and videos onto the timeline on the right side. Now with new projects, as you'll see here, we can click and it will automatically have our screen to load. However, if throughout the project we'd like to add more pictures and videos as we go, um, we'll go up and click on the Home tab if you haven't already selected it, and click on the Add Videos and Pictures command button. This will bring up a similar menu, and go ahead and when they're saved on your computer, go ahead and navigate to the location where they are, um, and we'll go ahead and select our file here. Now we can select one file, we can select a file, hold down Shift on your keyboard, and click another file to highlight multiple files or we can click on a file hold down control and select files that aren't in consecutive order so in this case we'll upload these three files after they're selected go ahead and click open and we'll see them automatically load here now a quick note when we're adding videos and pictures is if we'd like to preview them we can look at our thumbnails a little bigger so as you can see here we can't exactly see uh, what our videos might be about unless we know what the title means so we go up here and we click on this down arrow on the more options menu and we can slide this slider bar to make our thumbnails bigger uh, so we can actually preview what they look like before we select them and add them to our movie so here we can see oh I actually wanted to add this file as well so now we click this file or you can select multiple files again and click open. Now you may have noticed of course that the videos or pictures will populate the timeline on the right side of our screen. And what we'll see on the left side is the preview of the point in the movie that we're currently at. So we can drag this bar and we'll see that where we're previewing changes. Now you'll also notice that within the timeline our clips, um, that being pictures or videos, are organized in the order that they were added to our project. Um, so if we, like we said, clicked our first clip at the, towards the beginning, and then we can hit play, and we'll be able to preview our movie immediately after adding our clips. As you see here, I have a scuba diver. Now let's go ahead and import pictures and videos from our physical devices that aren't our computer. So something like a digital camera, or a camcorder, or a USB drive. If you haven't already uploaded your pictures and videos from your digital camera to your computer, that's okay. We can upload your pictures and videos directly into Windows Movie Maker from your digital camera, camcorder, USB drive, or other external device. Uh, so go ahead and connect your device directly to your computer. So if you have a digital camera, go ahead and use your USB drive and connect to your computer and make sure your camera or camcorder is turned on. Um, that'll allow the computer to be able to communicate with the camera. 
Um, if we have a USB drive, go ahead and plug that in, an SD card, plug it into the slot, um, and so on. Okay, now let's go ahead and walk through the easiest and what I think is the safest way to upload pictures into Windows Movie Maker from our devices. Uh, go ahead and click Start and go to My Computer. And then we'll go ahead and navigate to our device. And in this case, I'm using a USB drive. Um, your camera that's connected to your computer and powered on should show up in a very similar way on your computer. Now under My Computer, um, double click your device. We see the pictures and videos that are currently on our device. Now we can go ahead in the same way we did before. We can select one. We can select one, hold down control, and select multiple non-consecutive pictures. Or we can click one, hold shift, and select consecutive pictures. Um, another option is hold control and press A on your keyboard. And we'll select all of our pictures. And in this case, I want to upload all of our pictures. I'll go ahead and right click once they're all selected on any of them. Go ahead and click copy. Um, and then go to a location on your computer where you normally keep your pictures or videos. In this case, I'll go to my videos folder. I'm going to click new folder. And I'm going to create a folder called pictures for home movie. And we double click on this. And then here, anywhere in the blank screen, go ahead and cl right click again and click paste. And this will copy all of our files from our device onto our computer. So now, even if we disconnect our device, we can still use them with our Windows Movie Maker program. Great. So that happened pretty quickly. Uh, if we have large amounts of files, say a couple hundred pictures that are high resolution, uh, this process might take up to five, ten minutes, uh, depending on the speed of your computer. Go ahead and X out this window. What we'll do is we'll go into, again, repeat the same procedure that we did before. We'll click Add Videos and Pictures. We'll go to where we stored the pictures from our device. In this case, my pictures for home movie. And then again, I'm going to hold Control and click A. We can use any of the other options we talked about to select individual pictures or groups of pictures. Once they're selected, Go ahead and click open and watch all of our pictures and videos populate in Windows Movie Maker. Now another thing you'll notice is that in this case all of the recently added pictures and videos did not get added at the end. You see some of these clips were already in our movie and that's because the clips actually add to wherever our time bar currently is. So if I would put our time bar at the beginning and clicked add pictures and videos all of our pictures and videos that we add would have been added to the beginning of our movie. Just a quick tip if you'd like to add a group of pictures at a certain place if you've already worked on your slideshow or movie. Another important point here is that once we've uploaded pictures and videos into Windows Movie Maker, make sure not to move them on our computer. So if we go ahead and go to My Computer and we navigate to the location where our pictures are saved, make sure not to touch these pictures uh, or move them or delete them or if you do just know that they will um, come up as blank in Windows Movie Maker and you'll have to re-add them from their new location. Now that we can import pictures and videos from our devices let's look at how to import media from our phone, uh, email, or from Facebook. To use pictures and videos from email messages that you've received uh, with pictures or videos attached to a message Go ahead and open your email service. In this case, I'm using Gmail, a popular online service. You can also use Windows Outlook, MSN, or any variety of uh, email services that you have. Go ahead and open the message that contains the picture or video you'd like to upload. And you'll see it attached. Uh, with Gmail, we see it attached as an icon. Uh, in other email services, you'll see it uh, perhaps below the uh, subject line as a, a file name, uh, it might have a little paper clip next to it. Uh, in any way, if you have trouble determining where a file is attached, go ahead and contact your email provider and they should be able to let you know where your attachments can be found. And once you've opened the message, uh, go ahead, if you're in Outlook or MSN or another uh, service, go ahead and right click on the attachment and click Save As or Save Attachment As. Uh, in this case with, with Gmail, I'm going to go ahead and just click the download button. 
Um, and then you'll be prompted as to where to save your picture or video. So in this case, I'm going to actually save it in the Pictures for Home movie. Um, go ahead and navigate to the file. Uh, rename the file if you'd like to. I'm going to call this Grandpa and Child. And go ahead and click Save. If you aren't prompted where to save your file, it'll likely automatically download into your Downloads folder. So now what we'll do is we'll go back to a Windows Movie Maker and we'll select where we'd like to add the, the picture. So in this case, I actually want to add it at the beginning. Uh, we'll, again, we'll go up to our Home tab and Add Videos and Pictures button. And here we are. If we aren't automatically taken there, uh, go ahead and navigate to the folder where you saved it. In this case, Pictures from a Movie. And select the picture or multiple pictures like we talked about. Um, and then go ahead and click open and you'll notice our picture is added to the movie uh, if it didn't show up exactly where you'd like it you go ahead and click and drag it um, to another location in this case I wanted it at the beginning in order to use pictures that are from your phone the easiest way I found to do this is to go to your phone uh, select the picture that you'd like to send uh, and then go ahead and click the share button and send the picture in an email. If you have issues with this, you can contact your phone's manufacturer or your cellular provider, and they should be able to help you out in terms of making an email uh, with a picture or video that's on your phone. Anyway, address the email to yourself, and then go ahead and on the computer that you'd like to use Windows Movie Maker on and make your slideshow, navigate to your email, open the email that you sent yourself from the phone, and then go ahead and get go through that process that we just went through where we're downloading the attachment, saving it, and then loading it to Windows Movie Maker through the Add Videos and Pictures button. Now to use pictures that we have on Facebook, first off I'd like to mention only use and download pictures uh, that you have per direct permission to, to download and use. Uh, so go ahead and contact those people before you do so. Uh, in this case though, to download them, go ahead and go to your internet browser. In this case, I'll use Google Chrome. You can also use Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox. Um, go ahead and log into your Facebook page if you aren't already. And go ahead and navigate to the picture that you'd like to download. Um, in this case, I'm going to download this profile picture of me and my brother. Now what we'll see when we're previewing the picture is an Options button. Go ahead and click Options. Then go ahead and click download. Again, you'll be prompted where to download the file. Um, I'm going to save it in the same file location that we had before, but if you'd like to save it somewhere different, go ahead and just navigate to that location on your computer. Now, typically, they are be named uh, by default a lots and lots of numbers that can be a little confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and name this my brother and I. Then go ahead and click save. Uh, we see it downloads again. You'll see similar things in Internet Explorer. Then go ahead back to Windows Movie Maker and again repeat the same process under the Home tab, add pictures and videos, and then in that folder location where we saved it, our picture, go ahead and click it and click Open. Perfect, that was easy. Now that we've added pictures and videos to our project and our slideshow, now let's go ahead and add some music to spice things up. 